All right, going to be walking you guys through a full day of eating and training in pharmacy school. Now, first of all, it is beautiful out. It's like the middle of November and like 60 degrees out. It is amazing outside. Tank top season is never ending, baby. So it's about 11 a.m. No, I did not just wake up like a bum. What happened was I woke up, planned on filming today, but I need a haircut so bad. My hair was atrocious. So I immediately woke up and the first thing I did was went to the haircut place. I didn't make an appointment. That's making it in the video. I don't know why the fuck I call it a haircut place. That's jokes. Uh, didn't make an appointment though, so I had to just wait in line. That took up like an hour and a half of my day. So we're off to a late start, but it's all good. Gonna rip the gym today, go to class, bang out some schoolwork, eat massive food at the dining hall, intermittent fasting, everything in between. Let's fucking get it. Like I said, I woke up at nine. I'm not going to break my fast until like right before class. I will drink about a cup of coffee to suppress my appetite during the fast. Normally I'll have like two to three cups of coffee, but on days where I take pre-workout, I only drink like one, then I'll have the pre-workout because like that much coffee and pre-workout at once is just like way too much, bro. Like I just like tweak out, I'm way too like shaky and it's just like too much. It really like keeps me up at night, I can't sleep. So here's what my physique is looking like. I'm definitely looking bigger. The bulk is going pretty smooth. Yeah, definitely getting bigger. I'm closer to 155 right now. I definitely have been going a little bit overboard the past couple of days with calories. Like I've just been having like too much fun on the bulk. I am gonna go pretty lower in calories today. So it's about that time of the day, getting ready to go to the gym. 90% of my workouts are fasted. I love training fasted because just like the energy fasting gives you combined with like the caffeine, it's just like, so amazing, I just love training fasted. But yeah, in the past, I would have like driven home to film these workouts, but now like it's time my like local gym at school wakes up, bro. I'm about to walk in like I own the place, dude. This gym I can definitely film at. I've been a pussy about it, but it's time that this gym wakes up and supports me. All right, getting into my first uh, weighted pull-ups. Going for five reps of this. If I hit this, you have to subscribe. Oh, that felt good. I hit four last workout. So this workout on this given set, I went for five. I hit five. So next workout, I'll go for six. Technically I got six, but the last rep was like trash. Definitely don't do that. Something I really like about this gym is they have this little thing right here. So I can just like stand on this and then grab the bar. At my like other gym, I have to like bring a bench and put it like right under the pull-up bar. And that's kind of a pain. So that's a big pro of this gym. But yeah, I still gotta figure out like the lighting and angles and stuff. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this up a little bit. You can see the pull-ups a little bit better. Going for 55 pounds on this set. That like last rep that I was really fighting for kind of just like fatigued the shit out of me. All right, here we go. Oh. All right, yeah, six reps. Not even gonna try more than that. I went so hard on the first set. Oh man. All right, last set. Just going for a burnout set with the 25 plate. Probably got like seven to eight reps in me. Ah. One more. Oh. All right. On these, I'm really focusing on pulling my elbows back. I'm trying to pull my chest up to the bar, really squeeze my elbows back. Really feel it in my lats. All right, so for my second exercise, I'm going with the incline bench press. Now, in case you live under a rock, I've been telling you guys that you need an incline bench press. The upper chest makes or breaks the physique, I'm telling you. I'm going to go with 90s here on my push days when I hit incline fresh. I will start with the hundreds, but since I'm hitting them second after pull-ups, my upper body is already pretty fatigued. So I'm going to lower the weight a little bit. Ideally, I would do 95s, but this gym has 90s, 100s, and not 95s, so. I'm just gonna play it safe and go with the 90s. First heavy set, going in between four to six reps. Might get a little more, honestly, though. But yeah, let's get it. One more.
<sighs> Let's fucking go, baby. Those are all really good reps, nice and clean. Gonna lower the weight and do my second set with 80s, then my third set with 70s. Let's get it. All right, just got done with the compound lifts. I'm absolutely fried right now. I'm telling you right now, the compound lifts are like 70% of the workout. You need to be going as hard as you possibly can. Really focus on strength and progression. So now I'm just going to throw in a few basic isolation exercises. I'm going to do some lateral raises for the shoulders, specifically the lateral part of the shoulders. That really helps you get like wider shoulders, really helps in the V taper look. Then I'm going to hit some rear delts to touch up on my upper back. And then I'm going to throw in some arms, probably triceps, since I started off with really heavy chin ups, which I already hit the biceps pretty hard. These are really focused on like hypertrophy. It's not so much strength like the compound lifts. Let's get it. Really holding the rep at the top for a bit, getting a deep contraction. Oh. Should really feel the burn. Great exercise. So it's like 1.30 right now, I'm about to book it to class. But yeah, that's really all I do for upper body workouts. Five exercises is plenty. Just make sure you're hitting the right exercises and going with full intensity, giving 100% effort. Honestly, I would take pretty much every single set to failure or pretty close to failure on the way to class. Let's go. Now it's been a minute since I filmed on campus. And when I did film on campus last year, it wasn't with a GoPro. So we'll see how this goes. People are gonna think I'm like such a hardo, but like it's a bunch of like underclassmen who have no idea who I am. So like, I don't really give a fuck, bro. Now I'm breaking my fast with this apple right here. The whole point of eating this apple is to just act as a small buffer. That way it's like dinner time and I'll only be at like 100 calories and then bang, I can just swipe into the dining hall and just eat a ton of food. This is why I do like almost every single day. It just makes dieting so much easier, bro. I'm telling you right now, you guys need to be hopping on the intermittent fasting wave. But yeah, I gotta put the camera down and get to class. Let's get it. All right, nothing drives me crazier when people complain about dining hall food. Like, bro, you literally swipe in and it's an awe buffet. So, like I said, I am keeping it pretty clean today. Got some grilled chicken. The chicken it comes with is like so dry, bro. So you have to dip it in something. Dipping it in honey mustard. I got two cookies. So between the chicken and the honey mustard, that's like 400 calories max. Cookies put it to 600. Got this meatball sub. This is probably like another 400 calories, give or take. So that's a thousand calories then plus the fries got a couple pieces of broccoli too gotta get those greens in but yeah this is like 1200 calories whenever i'm in the dining hall i eat big because i'm saving money it's like i only eat like two meals a day but yeah here's the close-up fucking like dude people gotta stop complaining about dining hall food bro you get you can literally swipe in and eat whatever you want bro each of these chicken breasts has like 25 grams of protein plus the meatball sub and just like everything it's probably like a little bit over 80 grams so then thing i can just easily finish that off later tonight when i'm home but yeah, about to dig in let's get it i feel like such a hardo bro with a gopro and a mic in the dining hall but like fuck it it's whatever my camera's about to die actually bro so hopefully i get this footage mm. Mm. not that you guys are just gonna want to stare at me and watch me anyways but These fries go so hard, bro. But yeah, lately I've been coming here and just like, just like pounding way too many calories. So I am keeping it clean today. I mean, 
as clean as it's gonna get with intermittent fasting you don't have to eat clean that's why i do it, it makes dieting effortless bro if i ate breakfast this morning and ate throughout the day i would be at like at least a thousand calories have to swipe in here chicken broccoli and rice like no fuck that bro like no i'm not about it dude mm. if my camera dies just know i kill both plates all right no way i'm leaving any food on these plates People are looking at me like I'm crazy, bro. Like it's just a vlog, chill out. They won't say shit though, I'm too big. Bro, I'm going to town on this meal. All right, so I killed the meal, about to finish off with some cookies. Mm -hmm. Two cookies would be the equivalent of about a Nature Valley bar. I mean, you could easily fit a couple of cookies in. No need to freak out about cookies, but yeah, get the close up. Whole meal down, just ate so much food, bro. That was like 1200 calories, like 85 grams of protein ish. So, yeah, my camera's about to die any second. I will see you guys in a few hours when I get back to my house. Peace. All right, so it's about 9 30 on the dot. Pretty hungry again. Yeah, I whipped up a failed omelet. I fucked up on the flip, so I just made some like eggs, put a few slices of deli meat in here, like ham and turkey, and then got some cheese in here some ketchup to dip it in. Here, I'll give you guys the close-up. Gotta get the good angle. Ah, oh, here we go. Look at that. Looks great. So yeah, I put like six eggs in here, a couple slices of turkey, a little bit of cheese. So this is about 600 to 700 calories. This is going to put me at like 1900 to 2000. I'm shooting for like 2200, 2300 today. Gonna be in a small deficit. Mm. That's what's up. This also has about 50 grams of protein. So, you know, between my dining hall meal, which had like 80 grams of protein, plus this, that puts me at like 130 grams of protein for the day, which is plenty for me. That already hits my protein intake. All right, so that's going to fill me up until at least right before I go to bed. Gonna get back to the grind for a little bit. I finished my schoolwork, so now I'm gonna start putting this video together. This should be out within like a week from today. Editing my video I filmed today. Trying to get a head start on this. All right, so it's about 12.30 at night. I'm about to just knock and call it a day. Just finishing the day off with the Nature Rally Bar here. This has like 200 calories. Just to get some carbs in me. I already hit my protein intake. Might as well just get some carbs in. That's like a 2200 calorie day with ease. That puts me in a well needed calorie deficit day. But yeah, that's basically a full day of eating and training of what I currently do right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. That really helped me out. Let me know if you have any questions about intermittent fasting, my training, diet, anything in between. Leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.